Bob Snyder with SnyderSoapbox.com. Now we have Bible reviews and Christian book reviews and Christian articles. And today we're going to do a comparison with three different Cambridge Pitt Minion Bibles in NASB with different covers. So anyway, draw your attention to these Bibles here. Now they all three come in clamshell cases. So I'm laying them out here. Um, we've got here we've got a black calf split leather. Here we've got the brown goatskin leather, and here we've got the black Morocco leather. Take them out of the boxes. You can kind of see some of the difference in the grain. And these three Bibles, they all have lifetime warranties. They all have sewn bindings. And I would keep these boxes for storage purposes. They're all nice clamshell boxes. Now, as far as the price ranges go on these, the goatskin cover, of course, is going to be the more expensive of the three. Um, it's, a, it's a real flexible cover. Now, you can see that the goatskin one is art gilt. Uh, in other words, we have this, looks gold to begin with, but then if you move the pages, you can see there's red underneath the gold. The text blocks are all going to be the same on these three Bibles. Here's a presentation page. Let me get to the uh, copyright page and I'll show you. You can also see reviews of these Bibles on my blog, SnyderSoapbox.com. You can see here that uh, these are all done by Youngblood in the Netherlands and uh, they use a 6.75 font, a lexicon type set. The uh, format on them is all double column paragraph with center column references. There are 15 maps in the back and they're printed on a map paper the same way that you would expect on all three of them. They're all the same. Um, there's a map index and there's a useful concordance in the back. Now let's look at the covers because that's going to be the big difference between these three Bibles. Now both the uh, two less expensive ones have one ribbon marker each whereas the uh, goatskin one does have two ribbon markers. They're the same width ribbon markers uh, and they match the colors of the covers. Uh, the calf split leather, now I've had this one for a little while now, so it's kind of broken. It's, it's, it's pretty flexible now because I've been using it as a daily reader at work and whatnot. But you can look at the grain to this, and it is definitely different than the French Moroccan leather. The grain does look different. It's uh, a little more pebbled on the calf split. And of course, with calf split, um, it depends a lot on what you like as far as the grain goes. If, if, you're, if you're fine with this, the, this type of grain, since it's the same text block and, and these both are just gilt, they're not art gilt, they don't have the red under gold, um, if a person's fine with that, they can save themselves a little bit of money by getting the uh, Morocco leather one. Uh, it's still plenty flexible and they're all sewn bindings so now this one I just got so I haven't had a chance to really break it in yet but they're all gonna this one just fresh out of the box yeah it's, it doesn't open up quite as well as what it would as if it were broken but when I had the uh, calf split brand new it was just like the Morocco leather as far as not wanting to stay open and now look at it it's been broken and it opens up really well so it just takes a little bit of time. These are red letter editions. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, you're not going to find the Pit Minion in the NASB from Cambridge without that. Um, the durability of these is just outstanding. I, I can't say enough about them as far as how well they last. Um, I've never had a problem with any of the pages coming loose because of the sewn binding that makes them very durable. Um, and the covers, since they are quality covers, I, I haven't had any 
scratches or nicks to them um, and I don't always uh, protect them as good as I should but I, I honestly think that if you treat one of these if you get any one of these Bibles and you treat them well I think that they'll be able to be handed down to your um, children and perhaps your grandchildren and uh, we all know that as we use a Bible and the cover gets more worn and you know our hand and we handle it more and more that uh, it, it uh, has a little more character and I can't think of anything better than to hand down a Bible to one of your kids to where they know that dad read that every day uh, or mom read that every day and they and they can feel close to you while they while they use the same Bible in their own reading um, just to give you an idea with these Bibles as far as size goes the font is pretty small I already showed you that but we can compare that to a compact from Holman you can see the size here if I lay it on top it's compact but it is thicker it's a it's a it's a thicker Bible and that's how they get the size there so you have that trade-off there's all there's always finite dimensions in Bible design you can't get away with making one dimension smaller without making another one bigger um, and the Holman of course is a, is a lesser Bible they're not I mean this one I've used for a while and it still won't open up well um, it's printed on you know paper that's not quite as good uh, and uh, the binding is definitely not the same quality binding I mean uh, if you open up the goatskin one you'll be able to see that the spine bends around pretty easily and these go all the way out to the edges of the page there's no margin there's no area for I mean granted there's not a lot of area for note taking in the uh, in the pit minions but it, there's a little more than in these and that that would be the Holman which is great still because it's really inexpensive but this is a bonded leather cover with a paper liner and the paper liners you know they're they're not expensive and they don't last long they tear and uh, then they start looking bad uh, Cambridge even on their Morocco leather one uses a more expensive vinyl type liner um, and it's glued down really well I've never had a problem with edges coming up and if you do like I said it's lifetime warranty on here now here's a here's an interesting little Bible from Trinitarian Bible Society now again size it is a lot smaller and it didn't trade much in width but what this one lost it when it when it when they designed it where this one loses out is font size this is very hard to read that fonts really small and we can compare that again I'll compare that to the font here in the layout so the font in the pit minion doesn't look like it's much bigger but the the size difference is enough to make it much easier to read and also this Bible is easier to hold because it does have a little bit more size uh, this one it's a good Bible if you really need something extremely small um, I've already done a video review on this so you, if you want to see that you can look at the YouTube channel and you can see the full review on that and then we'll compare that to another Trinitarian Bible Society Bible now this isn't an ultra thin and it's not a reference Bible and the only reason I bring it up because its size is similar it's just a little bit bigger and I'll put the pit pinion on top of it so you can see but that little bit of size difference that it has makes it quite a bit heavier this this Bible probably weighs twice as much as the pit and uh, now this is a very nice Bible but it is a text Bible and it's only available in King James so if you're in the market for an ESV a new King James or a NASB you wouldn't be able to make do with this uh, although it is a very nice King James Bible it's a little too big a little too heavy to carry around in your lunchbox or your or your car now as far as ultra thins go because that's where we go besides compacts and ultra thins and this is where I think the pit minion rules over all of these different groups is that it strikes the perfect balance between thin and size so we have a Bible that's compact my hand is bigger and it's thin so we'll compare that to the uh, Lachman ultra thin in genuine leather which I like I've used it a long time you can see there's wrinkled vinyl liner and whatnot but uh, the uh, paper in this one is not as good a quality you can see the ghosting behind it um, they really didn't do any line matching this one was made in China it is a sewn binding it's around 30 bucks um, 
it is easy to read, but it's much bigger. We lay this on top of a pit pin and you can see, we'll put the pit mini up on top of it and you can see um, the pit minion does win again in size compared to that. And then another ultra thing that I like really well is this MEV from Charisma House. Again, it's almost the same size as the uh, Lachman Foundation Ultra Thin. But the, the MEV is kind of a neat translation if you're a King James fan, but you want some modern English and you don't want to go to the new King James version. I, I know there's some people out there that are like that. Uh, not a well developed. It still has some room to grow as far as cross references and whatnot. Uh, it's a fairly new uh, translation, so you know there's still work to be done. This one, however, it's very inexpensive. Has a paper liner. It's a fake leather material. It's a nice flexible Bible, but it's a glued binding as well, which means you know you can lose pages from the front and back when it starts getting broken really well. So this Bible, you might get a couple years out of using it heavily, and it's going to fall apart on you, and you'll have to buy another one. You're not going to hand this down to your kids. Um, the Lockman. Made a little bit better. You might get, I mean, I used this for probably about four years and uh, it's starting to get where the pages are loose in some of the spots. The maps were made on glossy paper, which has a higher clay content and they came loose. I had to tape them in, which is a really bad way to repair a Bible, but that's what we did for the time being. So again, Chinese made construction, probably not gonna last you long enough to hand down to kids. Now, let's go back to the pit minions. There's the goat skin one. This Bible, you got a little bit of margins, not not much. You can uh, you can make little notes. You know, I usually like to like I'll put a one or a two or a three and number my highlights. So if I'm going to underline or highlight something, I'll put a little dash on them. Then I have my numbers by them so I can look at them again, figure out which notes go to what. Um, this particular Bible, I mean, it's, this one's brand new. I really haven't done anything to it besides look at it a little bit. And uh, that goat skin cover makes a big difference on it. Um, again, you, you take these Bibles out of the box. You, first thing you notice is they smell like leather. They don't smell like chemicals. They don't smell like, you know, fake leather. You know, at best with a synthetic leather cover, you'll get a Bible that just smells like nothing. And that's at best. Uh, with with the Cambridge Bibles, you know the the covers on them make all the difference with that sewn binding and the paper that they use on them. I'm gonna open all three of them so you can see all three compared, so that you can see that it's the same text block. It's not it's not uh, it's not different. They didn't use different paper for one than they did the other. You're really getting a high quality Bible, regardless of the cover that you purchase. You're getting a high quality Bible that's going to last a long time that you can take with you anywhere. You can put it in your glove box, in your car, you can put it in your lunch box, you can put it in your briefcase, you can put it uh, in a locker, and uh, it's always going to be ready to go. You know, you don't, have to, you don't have to worry about hurting them. They're very well constructed, not that you should, you know, be careless with Bibles. They are the Word of God. It's important to be respectful of them. And uh, as always, Cambridge stands behind their work, too, on these. So other companies say they do, and sometimes their customer service isn't that great. But every time I've dealt with Cambridge, I've gotten real swift, immediate attention, and they've dealt with the problem and resolved it. Um, and really, I haven't had to deal with them that often on problems. I think I've only had to talk to them once or twice. And uh, I've been sent a lot of Bibles from Cambridge to review. Um, there's other companies that uh, send me Bibles for review. And out of all of them, this is, this is my go-to for portability. So at any rate, that's, that's it for the uh, comparison on these three Bibles, the Pit Minions from uh, Cambridge. And uh, if you have any questions, just uh, get on my blog at uh, snydersoapbox.com and put a comment down that, your question and I will find out what I can for you from Cambridge and I'll reply to you there. And I hope you like the video.